Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to the cliffhanger of a battle. We are facing off against what started out as 76 British battleships. No, well, warships. Not battleships, warships. We've reduced their numbers somewhat, but if you look at the vast amount of red over here, there are still some targets left. I fortunately have brought with me almost all of the battle cruisers from the Mars class. I have a uh, wide assortment at this point of battleships and I am slowly but steadily cutting through the outer layers of the enemy fleet and they're all very close together which means it's relatively easy to start dealing damage to uh, everything. If you miss one thing you might actually hit something else and that's what I'm going for. I have various groups of battle cruisers on the flanks we got a group of the York, the Star, and the Ostmark, and then we have the Württemberg and Oldenburg, which are these 15.9 inch sporting battle cruisers. I'm going to tell them to deal with the battleship. Where are you going? Get back here. Now, I'm inevitably going to be eating torpedoes. There are just so many targets around that, one way or another, you're going to get hit. Uh, I'm just going to take it as a cost of doing business because I'm not micromanaging 30 ships of my own. That is not very fun to do. Now all of these ships here are getting in the way of the battleship. We've got the Argyle, we've got the Drake, we've got the Blenheim. I'm going to tell ships to start shooting targets behind their actual target. So I want to start eliminating heavy cruisers. Because most if not all of them are sporting some form like that are sporting some form of torpedoes and I'm not particularly well equipped as I managed to micromanage all of them. There goes the Ajax, that's the Drake. Okay, who else? Uh, we're gonna shoot this battleship here, we're gonna hit the Lord Clyde. You guys are getting a bit close here, uh, Argyle. Don't do that. We still got a couple of CAs and CLs coming in. This is working because the Lord Clyde just took a mouthful of ammunition. <laughs> We're shooting the battleship behind it, I swear. Oh, there's three of them even. Boom. Flash fire. That's nice. What do we do to you? You got 12.1 inch guns. Wow, this has to be one of the oldest ships that they still have around. Interesting. Let's see if my battle cruisers are doing anything useful. Their main guns are not. So let's tell them to actually start shooting. I'm going to tell everybody to actually start shooting. I'm not going to save any ammunition anymore. We're just going to go right through this enemy fleet. As quickly as we can. Start shooting this with the secondaries. This is just going to torp the Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg's going to have to turn. Wipe out this destroyer. Be quick about it. we got a lot of secondaries that we can use. You are going to focus on the destroyer as well. Now these two battle cruisers took a bit of damage. Württemberg and Oldenburg. I think Oldenburg is just completely going off and doing its own thing. So at this point I might as well attach it to the other battle cruise division. And have the Württemberg be a solo ship. Second area is on the scout. I think managing the battleships here is going to be key. They got the most firepower and the most to lose. Argyle just torped. Blenheim just torped. We're currently shooting up a battleship. Oh, right, yeah, this one, the Africa. In case you're wondering about the frame rate, yes, it is really that bad. Not so much because my PC can't handle it, but it's because the game isn't running very efficiently. 
no developer, but from what I've been hearing, it's running on one core, which is probably about as bad as it sounds. Come on, Thisby. You've taken 6,000 damage. You can really die in peace now. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to tell this division to... Do I tell them to start worrying about torpedoes? There goes the Thisby, finally. Next is going to be the Wayfarer. Shit, you just torped me again, didn't you? What did you torp? The Fritjof? The Fritjof. The Fritjof with their 17.9ers. Firing high explosive at the enemy battleship. Which should work. I think we accidentally hit the Dominion. A few times. Yeah, partial pen. Okay. There's another battleship down over there. That was the Ajax. Fritjof turns okay-ish, but does not get a whole lot of warning, because she was supposed to be firing from afar. Not up front like this. I just wasn't expecting massive battles like these when I was designing those ships. That's good. That is the Wayfarer taking a lot of damage. The cruiser division here. Yeah, we're going to go for kills. I need sinkings. The Drake is dead. Africa is badly damaged. Mac. Mac's okay. There's the Intrepid. Yeah, and Gazelle just took a torpedo. Okay, we're going to split off the Gazelle. We're going to split off the Comet. Detach. You guys are going to go home for repairs. Uh, yeah, just go home. DDs are still fine. Scratch that. The DDs are not so fine because they're also getting torpedoed. See, I'm torn between... Do I turn on the Torpedo Avoidance and have my ships just go every which way they please? Or do I keep the formation and accept that I'm going to eat a torpedo every now and then? And I'm not quite sure which one to go for. That's the problem. Okay, Markgraf, your whole div. Fairly nicely lined up at this point. We're gonna go starboard. Put your secondaries on this, please. And Wishart. Wayfarer has been destroyed. Intrepid has been destroyed. Also, put your main guns on the Neptune. Torpedoes. Shit. Shit. If I uh, took a dud. Okay. Could be worse. Loki's having some fun. Loki's done 49,000 damage, which is a fourth of our total damage number. These 19 inchers are getting pretty decent shots. Regular crew, they still take almost four, five minutes to reload. But if you look past that, they're pretty decent ships. Pretty decent guns. I am starting to wonder if I have enough ammo for this battle. Argyle, extensive fire. Africa, Queen Elizabeth and the Dominion, they're all here. They're all close together. And the Lord Clyde as well, we've seen that guy before. What battle cruiser's up to? Just check. Africa is down. You are running a little low on AP shells. Did I forget? No, I didn't forget. I intentionally put these guys in with high explosive shells. Because the high explosive shells on these can very quickly cripple small ships. Because I gave them the best possible uh, high explosive shell. So it's all going according to plan. Well, that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it.
British have done 10,000 damage. I've done 223. suppose most of their damage was torpedoes. Yeah, about half. 60% of the damage was torpedoes. Um, tell the DDs to go for that. Neptune is taking a lot of fire. 16 inch hits causing massive amounts of damage. Perfect. That's the Markov's division. We're still finding ourselves within 8 kilometer range of the enemy, but that's fine. The battleships aren't that much of an issue. These 12 inchers... Yeah. That's a 12 inch gun against my armor. It's the torpedoes that are the real nuisance. If they add up, they will kill you. Focus the Blenheim down, please. Other battleship div is kind of following in, which is good. Also focus down the Blenheim. Holy moly, that was a lot of damage against the Queen Elizabeth. What is your primary target? A DD? No. We're going to take down on the battleship. Blenheim has been torping the Markgraf. Persian is down. That's some great damage on Neptune. She's almost destroyed. Flooding might take her. You're going to burn down, probably. PCs. Pretty poor chance to pen. And then again, they're not really supposed to be going for stuff like that. Where's the single... Where's the wort? Where's the wort? Oh, hello! You're getting somewhat close, aren't you? Normal. Shoot when you get the chance. Neptune! Extensive fire! Very good. Who would like to go next? Queen Elizabeth. Markgraf, your next target is this. It's two battleships mating. Shoot the implacable. We're gonna hit the audacious. Watch. Main guns instructed to go for the implacable. Wow, the conqueror is also there. Hit the audacious several times. <laughs> Blenheim, what the hell? How are you still alive? Yeah, the Blenheim is finally down. Implacable lost 20% of her structural and the Audacious continues to get in the way with all necessary consequences. These are the retreating guys. Audacious is down. The Audacious? Oh, that's the Audacious. You just got burned to a crisp. Fair enough. So we took this guy down using a couple of 16 inchers, but mostly smaller guns. Perfect. Uh, what, 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 what? Why do I have a small division of three battleships here? What is this? What is happening here? What? Must have accidentally dragged something over. This. These are fine. These are supposed to also include these ships. There, but who's leading this thing? Not Markov. Somebody else. Great. Okay, whatever. We're going to focus on this. Queen Elizabeth is down. About damn time. Shoot the implacable. Glorious is down. Of course, I don't mean it seriously. I mean, Queen Elizabeth is fine. Implacable should be going down. And we're taking their capital ships down in a hurry. It's just their their escorts which are going to take a long ass time. 
Lutso and Gosh Pay. Here, go for the constants, please. Are you getting torpedoed? Yes, you are. Boom. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Shoot this little shit, please. Not with the torpedoes, though. Uh, the torpedoes can go for that. Latona is down. V16 just ate a torpedo, I guess. Implacable is down. This is what happens when you park your whole ships, or your, your whole fleet just off of Germany. What the fuck is this disaster? My god. The Heimdall is leading the division. And everybody is trying to figure out where in life they're supposed to go. Oh boy. This is fun. Go for the Victorious. Go for the Lord Clyde. Cumberland. Extensive fire. I think they're going to start losing ships faster and faster and faster now. Simply because the extreme volume of fire is going to be spread out over fewer ships. <clears throat> so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, yeah, these are down, 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 down. Victorious and Triumph are still pushing. Put a stop to that. Our battleships so far have really not taken a scratch. It's this guy who needs to evac. We got the König Wilhelm and the Saxon. They're going to start following the mech. And we had the battle cruisers all the way over here. Ah, you're very close to the battleships now. Interesting. Go for the Triumph. Not necessarily an ideal target, but with 11 inch high explosive, you could probably burn it down. I fire very quickly with these guns. Every 30 seconds it was? Yeah. Constance is down. Yep, she's gonna go extensive fire. This is not survivable for a battleship. 740 men, that's cute. Bye bye, extensive fire. Okay. Um, the Dominion. And start pushing these guys in. We're going to also shoot the Dominion. What? What? The, the interface must have lagged somewhere, because now I, again, have some smaller divisions. Oh, for fuck's sake, because managing divisions was already so easy. Jesus Christ, look at this. Now they've reorganized the whole thing again. Oh, this is so annoying. And I cannot, because I have so many ships, I cannot simply say, you know what, I'm going to have every single ship. And I'm going to have them all operate solo. That just doesn't make sense. But, because of the low frame rate, the game just hangs on the interface every once in a while. Causing all sorts of bullshit like this to happen. You guys are still fighting, yes? You got a little less ammo than I would like. Okay, fine, so be it. Keep focusing on Mecklenburg. She's sort of our lead ship. We're about to... I'm not even sure who's going to eat a torpedo, but we'll live. Apologies if I'm being a bit negative, but the game is... How should I put this? I'm fighting the game more than I'm fighting the enemy ships. That's annoying. That's not something I want. Please tell me this div is still intact. Yeah, good. Yeah, the Dominion's gonna receive the same burning treatment. It's a uh, premature cremation. Saves them the trouble. CL, CA, CA. 
Like, you think, great, we're sinking about two ships every five minutes or so? We're making progress. Yes. And no. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. So many ships. We're doing the Fritjof. Koenig. You flew a little too close to the sun, my friend. I think the sun is shooting back at this point. Yep. Come around. The Loki. Just go already. It's fine. Focus on this. Shoot what you will. See, I was hoping for a grandiose last battle against the British, and I got it. But the way that it plays? No. That's pretty shit. Uh, this is the battle division that I was looking for. Focus on the Coventry. Bit of high explosive ought to do it. It's a light cruiser after all. Yeah, she'll be burning quite nicely. Bristol hasn't had an opportunity to launch her torps. Could be considered risky. Mecklenburg and Fritjof definitely took a torpedo, if not more than one. One. Are you shooting the Coventry now? Yeah, you are. Terpsichore is down. Where the hell is the Terpsichore? I have no idea. Accidental killing? Ow. Something hit me with a torp. The Saxon got hit. So be it. And the Loki got hit. Really? <laughs> Cute torp. Come again. That was one torpedo hit for 38... <laughs> for 38 damage. Yeah, no, okay, this is... This is getting serious. These torpedoes are starting to deal damage. There goes the Coventry. Very good. Bristol is done. Ah, yes, here's the York Div. Mecklenburg Div. Go on. Seriously, there's no ship left. There you go. Okay. Secondaries. The Orcadia. We're going to start pushing in. It's going to be a brawl. What do we got here? What's this mess? Where's this mess going? The wrong way. Stop the circle jerk and start pushing in. Thank you. CAs, start pushing in. Uh, you. That's a division that makes no sense. <clears throat> Stop using main guns against the destroyer. It is fairly stupid. Use your main guns against the Hibernia. Everybody focus the Hibernia. Whatever happens to be in the way just gets fucked. Really that simple. You get in the way of a projectile, tough luck. Damage done, 360,000. Damage taken, 20. Factor, 18. Not bad. Not bad. I don't like the chest. It's a museum piece, the Chester. It doesn't have single torpedo launchers. This doesn't have either. This doesn't have them either. This is more dangerous than Sydney. Ibernia is going to be spelled with a U at this point. She's going down. Loki firing every once in a while. Yeah, you're probably going to go down to extensive fire. That's good. 
I'm sort of using the Loki as a torpedo magnet, or at least that's the plan, to try and make it as attractive as possible to torpedo this big thing, which turns remarkably quickly, and thereby sucking up all the damage. Although, surprisingly, she only has an anti-torp 1, which is far less than I was expecting her to have. I thought she'd have something far more impressive, but no. Hold up! Hold up. The Lutzo just got sunk. Four torpedoes. Fuck. Why are you still here? Oh no. Get a move on. Plot armor won't save you every time. I think Württemberg is not going to really survive this battle. She's done well. She's done 18k. Not complaining. They still got battleships? Yeah, they still got the repulse. Okay. Loki just got torpedoed again. Which again, she really didn't care about. There was 65 points of damage. Fearless, extensive fire. What are we shooting up now? A light cruiser, the Sydney, all the way over there. Fine, we're gonna go for the repulse. We we will get the Sydney. Don't worry, we'll get the Sydney. She will get what's coming to her. There you go. She got what was coming to her. Who got a flash fire? Somebody got a flash fire. Sydney's down. Oh, it must have been the, the shots from the Loki that I heard. Don't crash game. Still need you. Flooding. Okay. We're starting to go through them faster and faster and faster. This is good. Star, York, Ostmark. You're doing a fantastic job. 10k here. Two and a half on the Ostmark. That's a bit low. She hasn't really gotten an opportunity to shine just yet. Who's... Oh, the Preussen... Ah, the Fritjof's damaged and trying to fall back. That makes sense. Repeat of this. There's the battleships are still pretty well in a line, much to my surprise. I thought at this point we were going to see them all over the place, but no. König Wilhelm is brazenly charging in with her friends, which are somewhere back there. Right. Oh, another battleship. The Barham. The Dominion is still here? No, oh, she's not. She's sinking. Koenig, don't take this much attention, please. Yeah, this should be dead. That's the 4.9ers dealing damage. Mecklenburg is in 39k. Preussen, 25. Fritjof, 26. Not bad. Fairly balanced. Uh, shooting up the curlew. We'll go on. Flooding. Yes. Done. Done. Shoot up the Bacante next. Secondaries on the Chester. Wait, this thing is dead, right? No, it's not. Shit. Secondaries. Swap fire to the curlew. Torpedo in the water. Only many. Repulse is not dead. Main guns. All battleships on the repulse. There's the curlew. Now oh, she's dead. Okay. Uh, you boys. What are you shooting up next? The repulse. Ah, yes. She's immediately starting to burn. Chester. Now, I would love to capture this massive battle in a screenshot, I just don't know how. 
Because this doesn't do it justice. I mean, there's ships burning everywhere, but on a thumbnail? That sounds as big <laughs> as the word is. You won't see it. So I think we're going to have to go with something like the biggest ship, the Loki. She's just... She's so weird. And that makes her very interesting for me. I like very odd ships, which... If you've been watching the campaign so far, you might know. But it's not strictly Dreadnoughts either, it's... All sorts of different games. If there's weird and wonderful vehicles, I generally am attracted to them. Arcantes down, Repulse should be down. I think it's time to start pulling my first capital ship off the line. The König Wilhelm. You're going to retreat. Oh, sorry, the Württemberg also got pulled. What the hell is this spade doing here? Oh. Getting killed, that's what. Oh boy. Berlin dies. This is probably going to die. Chester dies. That was the Berlin. Yeah, torpedoes. See, torpedoes are going to be the death of me. Okay. Um... That was another bonk of a torpedo. Yeah, something hit the Braunschweig. Doesn't matter, it's 108,000 tons of battleship. It'll survive. It'll be fine. We're gonna shoot up the Barham. With the whole div, please. The big battleship, boys. Uh, yeah, you're also gonna shoot up the Barham, because you're in a pretty good flanking spot. So let's do that. I'm dull. 5.3k. König. 9.4. 7773. 13. 26. 12. Yeah, those battleships need to get their ass in gear and start pushing. But what they're currently doing is not necessarily very impressive. Melbourne is down. There goes the Endymion. Barham. Extensive fire. And Dimian, probably extensive fire. Extensive fire. Next is the scout. Nope. Target behind it. This old heavy cruisers still have some punch left. There you go. You're potentially going to die to extensive fire. Nottingham, badly damaged. Duke of Edinburgh, extensive fire. is a bit of a taste of what the uh, the next campaign is probably going to be. I'm going for a build that revolves around ships that are capable of setting fires. Lots and lots and lots of fires. There goes the Freya. On my side, that is. Hmm. Push in all the battleships here. This battle line has taken some damage, but it's mostly fine. I think the Mecklenburg is really leading the charge. She's been shot at... Three and a half thousand times. Most of which didn't care. This, however, is not great. But then again, if you go for a brawl, you're going to get hit. It's that simple. Carnarvon, down. Not good. Shannon, fuck off. Loki, how are you doing, dude? You're getting torpedo, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Vectis should be down soon. Shannon is down. Yeah, she got subjected to a... Uh, Probably a few barrages from the battlecruisers here. These 11-inch battlecruisers are extremely capable. 
they don't necessarily do massive amounts of damage in the sense that you see a, a 35,000 damage hit. But they're more efficient in a way because the repulse, she took a lot of damage. She was shot at a lot. But Roxburg, she wasn't shot at that much, but she did take a lot of damage. It's just a lot of 7 inch, sorry, 11 inch damage. They just seem to be pretty efficient. Mecklenburg is now going to go right through all the corpses here. This will be interesting sailing. Vectis is down. Gibraltar. Interesting naming a ship after that, since I have Gibraltar and I've had it for a decade? A while, anyway. Tough space, still retreating. Good. We're shooting the, what, the scout? Oh, there goes the dragon. Extensive fire. That's ironic. Where's the battleship div, the big one? Here. Oh boy. Fuck up this guy. Now. Defiant sinks. Not that defiant. Retribution will probably torpedo me, so be it. The Watson is down. Nice flooding. Yeah, Heimdall's gonna take a hit and Koenig might too. If Torpedo hits for the price to pay for eliminating the whole British fleet, I don't care. Nice damage, dude. 56 after two torpedo hits. Kill it before it rams you. I don't steer very well. You do. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. If the game would have a tally of how many ships are actually left, that would be quite nice. Retribution is down. Senator down. Monmouth next. Concord down. Monmouth down. Like I said, it's going to snowball now. Increasing number of shells focused on a smaller number of ships. Oops. Just reformatted something, I think. That is the scout. Intercept it. I can even run the battle at five times speed now. Mecklenburg took another torp. Oh, you're fine. Shooting you. Forward. The scout sinks. Uh oh. Turn, spay. I know you got a damaged rudder. It's not great. I'm going to try and save you. Uh, York Div. Go here. Bonshaik. Aegir. Saxon. Turn. Heimdall is the ship that got torpedoed twice, yet lost only 2% of structural. Your turps don't scare me. Loki. Shoot the biggest target you can, please. Don't go for small ships. It's not worth your time. It's really not worth your time. There is one ship that's missing from this fight. And I bet she would have loved to be here. The Mars. She's a fairly noteworthy absentee. She got damaged in the previous encounter and had to go back for repairs, so she was not available. Since this is pretty much the final battle against the British, she really should have been here. Why are you so close? Why are you tailgating the Heimdall? Just slow your ass down. Dead. Run, Wallace. Yeah, we're in the end phase now. They got a couple of stragglers, but that's about it. Run, Wallace, extensive fire. <clears throat> Pactolus has nowhere to run. She's gonna die. 
What's this? The forward. Um. Alto is almost pristine. She's barely taken any damage. Impressive. Oh, hello, Star. <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you here? Your division leader's over there. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Now, considering the small row up here, I think we're through the heavy cruisers. Oh, they still got the war spike. It's our last surviving CA. Here goes another CL. I don't think I even need to bother picking targets anymore, because all I need to do is tell my ships to get where they need to be. And the guns will do the rest. This CL is running. This CL is sinking. This DD is running. Horse bite. No, she might be one of the last to sink. Still doing some honor to her name, although she is a heavy cruiser with six and a half inch guns. I think she's going to have a whole lot of honor left. Repeat of explosion. Horse bite sinks. Hello. I'm surprised you can still see that, actually. Loose formation. Everybody as fast as you can. They got what? A light and a heavy left? And that's it? Everybody else is dead. Everybody else has been killed. So the British must have lost tens of thousands of men. Tens of thousands. And if they got two survivors, I've sunk four, 74 ships. Leaving the British with... What, eight? Something like that? Can we actually hit this guy? Damage or chance to hit is really quite bad. We're going to need interceptors there. That's the, the battle cruisers. They can go as fast as 39 knots, but we're going to let them end the battle. Wow. <sighs> oh, that was a long one. <clears throat> For you, it was two videos. For me, it was one non-stop battle running about, what, 75 minutes or so? I've lost 4,000 sailors. They have lost 62,000. I gained 46,791 victory points. What the hell? Versus 4,456. I've lost three ships. Notably, Freya, Lutzo, and Berlin. That's it. They have lost everything except for a light cruiser and a DD. Yeah, I'd say that was a pretty decisive outcome. Pretty decisive outcome. Tell me. Ah, oh, we were able to save some crew. Ah, oh, nice, they changed this. It said salvaged crew. Saved crew makes a lot more sense. What? I'm still losing transports? To... to what? What am I losing transports to? The British have nine ships. What am I losing transports to? They're still building ten ships. What? And their economy is still bigger than mine? Okay. <laughs> That's the Mars again. Right. Well, I am uh, quite done for right now. Um, I think the fleet's going to take a while to repair. Although some battleships were so lightly damaged that they're going to be back in a month. Some battleships were a bit more badly damaged and they're going to take somewhat longer to repair, such as the Fritschal for five months. Yeah, and that's the longest. König Wilhelm, five months. The uh, Oldenburg. Württemberg's nine months out. That's not surprising. She really took a bad beating. Anyway, that should cripple the British enough for me to potentially take Ireland off of them, which is also a territory that you can get. I've never been able to get it. So I'm looking forward to that. But I, ideally, I would just completely destroy the Brits. But, uh, well, we're not quite done yet. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for the next video.